Hey everyone, it's Paul from One Cast, One Fish, and today we're back with our Evan Rudy tech. In today's video, we're going to be focused on the three year, 300 hour service for your Evan Rudy tech. Now, in this video, we're going to be focused on the Evan Rudy e tech 150. However, at the end of this video, I'll leave a chart that breaks down the three year, 300 hour service across various horsepowers in the e tech line. Our first step in performing a proper three year, 300 hour service is hooking up our motor to the Evinrude EV diagnostic software. Here you're gonna be able to verify things like your engine model and serial number, your engine and EMM runtime, along with your current oil type setting. Using the EV diagnostic software, you'll also be able to look at current active faults, occurred faults, and historical faults for your motor. In addition to your engine information, and fault codes. Using the software, you'll also be able to look at your engine run profiles. These include your engine RPM speed profile, engine temperature profile, and your EMM temperature profile, all of which give you a better overall picture of your engine's health. With the engine diagnostics complete, we're gonna move into the parts and components that we'll be replacing and checking as part of our three year, 300 hour service. As we discussed the three year, 300 hour service, be sure to check down in the description for links that'll take you to the tutorials that go in depth and walk you through each aspect of your three year, 300 hour service. Up first is a key component to your cooling system, the water pump. Lucky for us, the water pump does come in a kit and should be replaced at every three year, 300 hour service. Another critical component of our E-Tech cooling system that should be replaced at your three year, 300 hour service is your thermostats. And when replacing your thermostats, it's also recommended to replace your thermostat gaskets and your housing O-rings. As part of your three year, 300 hour service, you're gonna to wanna to pull and inspect your old spark plugs and replace them with new. And be sure when replacing your spark plugs, that they're indexed properly. Replacing the fuel filter and water separator is critical for your three year, 300 hour service to help ensure a clean fuel system. Time for a little tip. I recommend writing the date and engine hours on your fuel filter so you have an easy to see indication of when to perform your next three year, 300 hour service. Our next steps in the three year, 300 hour service is gonna require us to get low, as in lower unit. Now the factory manual recommends that we replace our lower gear oil every three years or 300 hours of service. When replacing our lower gear oil, we wanna make sure that we're using the correct fluid. In our case, it's the Evanrude Johnson HPF Pro. And don't forget to replace your nylon seals for your drain and vent plug. While we're down here, we're gonna to wanna to remove our prop, check for any fishing line or debris, and we're gonna to wanna to re-lube our prop shaft splines. And when reinstalling your prop, it doesn't hurt to replace your cotter pin with a new one. Another aspect of the three year, 300 hour service is greasing all your grease fittings on your motor. Now, this is another one of those maintenance items where I prefer to do it every year or even twice a year, depending on conditions. Now we're gonna talk about two often forgotten and overlooked parts for your three year, 300 hour service. And of course we're talking about the VST filter and the exhaust back pressure fitting. The VST filter is a good indication of overall fuel system component condition since it's located in our fuel return line. If your VST filter is extremely dirty, that's a good indication that other components in your fuel system are probably getting dirty as well. The exhaust pressure fitting is important for proper engine operation. When replacing the exhaust back pressure fitting, you're gonna to wanna to follow that line up to the EMM and also clean or replace the small brass orifice in that line, as it's there to restrict the amount of exhaust that goes to the EMM.
And now you have a great reference for your three year, 300 hour service on your Revin Rudy Tech. Whether you're a DIYer performing your own maintenance or wanting to make sure that your local shop is checking all the boxes, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And we'll see you next time on the water.